Great Pyramid of Giza. Built into this incredible structure is what's known as the King's Chamber. Close to the west wall of the chamber is a red Aswan granite coffer. The walls of this coffer are about six inches thick. On the outside, it measures about seven and a half feet by three and a half feet. On the inside, six and a half feet by two and a half feet. So you can see why someone would think that this was designed to be a sarcophagus for the king. On the southeast corner of the coffer, you can see that a large section of the corner has been damaged or broken off. Now there are stories that suggest that the coffer was struck by something very hard to create this damage, which is interesting because when this hard granite coffer is hit with something hard, it vibrates, just like a bell. In 1997, acoustic physics researcher John Stuart Reed was granted permission to conduct a series of experiments within the king's chamber. And what he did was he temporarily repaired the damaged corner of the coffer and he did this so that he could then stretch a large elastic membrane across the opening, like a drum. Before he did this, however, he placed a sound device or speaker inside the coffer before covering the opening with the membrane. He then poured sand across the surface of the membrane and began to conduct sound tests, and what he discovered was mind-blowing. The granules of sand begin to form patterns, shapes, and these shapes were very similar to that of Egyptian hieroglyphs. One of the other interesting things that occurred during these experiments is that John had been suffering from chronic back pain, which was somehow magically healed, and he claims that pain never returned. I'm going to discuss something that should help us come to a greater understanding of life and how everything works. Another puzzle piece to help some of the other pieces make sense and connect. And that is the science of making sound visible. Cymatics. There is a pattern that exists, and this pattern seems to be infinite. This pattern is found in nature, it is found in us, it is found in the stars. In 1202, a mathematician known as Leonardo Fibonacci introduced the Hindu Arabic numeral system to the Western world through a book known as the Book of Calculation or Book of Abacus. Within this book, there is a description of a number sequence that was written about in India. But since it was popularized by this book, it later came to be known as the Fibonacci sequence of numbers. Each number in the sequence is the sum of the two numbers that came before it. 0 plus 1 equals 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. And so on and so forth. Now, if you take these numbers and create squares with the lengths of their sides equal to the numbers in the sequence, you can tile them to give you what's known as the Fibonacci spiral or pattern. The same pattern found in seashells, artichokes, pineapples, pine cones, trees, leaves, flowers. It is found in the DNA's double helix, your arms, hands, and fingers your face. These are the fundamentals to the science of sacred geometry. Something that is not new. I've discussed Dr. Masuro Emoto's rice experiment, his water crystallization experiment. I know some of you have tried this and have seen the results. 
Do you all understand that when you do this experiment, you are literally destroying something with your mind? So would it make sense that if you can destroy something with your mind, you could also fix it or even create it? Do you see the Fibonacci pattern in the beautiful water crystallization when it is loved? So what's happening here? How is the energy that comes out and off of our bodies affecting other matter? We all know it's frequencies. In fact, it's more than that. It's resonant frequencies. It's sound. With the science of cymatics, we can now see what these sounds look like. This is a cymoscope. It is an instrument that can be used to create a visual image of sound vibration. This is basically a petri dish that is on a plate that has been insulated from the natural vibration of whatever the cymoscope is resting on. You can then use very fine particulates or ultra pure water to reveal the structures of the harmonics that pass through the cymoscope. At low frequency sounds you get very simple geometric patterns. The more you raise the frequency, the more complex these patterns become. This is one of the 3D structures that is created in water using sound. This is an actual image of water, with the surrounding body of water removed for contrast. The most abundant crystal on the earth is quartz, a mineral composed of silicon and oxygen. Like most inorganic solids such as metal, rock and ice, it is a polycrystal a mass of microscopic crystals that were fused together to form one large solid mass. Now here's the question. If the patterns or structures that are within a crystal like quartz are actually the imprint of resonant frequencies or sound, does this mean that the energy of that frequency is also captured within the crystal? Do you understand now why people use crystals in rituals and in healing? Because just like you give off vibrations, objects, crystals give off vibrations as well. And all these vibrations affect each other. Listen carefully folks. I just showed you how sound affects the atomic structure of water. And we can see how sound may have an effect in the way minerals like quartz crystallize. So how do you think sound affects your body, which is mostly quartz and water? We know that there are patents of sonic weaponry that can do a lot of cellular damage to a large number of people all at once. But at the same time, we have technologies that use sound to heal. This is cymotherapy, acoustic therapy, harmonic therapy. This is the science behind chanting, humming, or Ami and Sanskrit. It is the science behind using crystals, a Tibetan bowl, or classical music by people such as Bach or Beethoven. This is the science behind relaxation audios and binaural beats. Using sound therapy researchers have been able to repair torn living tissue and repair it to the point where it appears as if the tissue was never damaged at all. They have been able to improve circulation in parts of the body and remove blockages, particularly in the legs and arms. It has been used to repair organs and improve brain function. You see, sounds affect your body. Music affects you. Words affect you. When you write a word, that word has energy just like everything else and when someone else reads that word, it affects them on a cellular level. When we hear or see a negative word, we feel it. When we see or hear a positive word, we feel it. When you hear or see something funny, you laugh, which is a double bonus because even the sound of laughter can raise your body's frequency. This is what raising your body frequency means. You are raising the resonant frequencies in your body to be more in line with the complex crystalline structures that promote good health and longevity. Have you ever listened to a song that you like or have ever watched a movie or video that 
touched you? And at a certain point, that audio or video stimulated a sensation that is often felt on the skin across the scalp and back. A tingling sensation. Similar to what happens when someone runs their fingertips gently down your back. Have you ever wondered what that feeling is? This is called Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, or ASMR. You may have seen videos where people are whispering and performing mundane tasks like turning the pages of a book or making subtle clicking and tapping sounds. They do this to trigger this response. And it works, especially for people who are very sensitive to the ASMR. Watching someone do this for about an hour can sometimes be a bit overwhelming if you are sensitive to it. However, it is very therapeutic. And the effects this has on stress is incredible. Want to have a relaxing night after a hard day's work? Get into a nice hot Epsom salt bath for about 40 minutes with your eyes closed just listening to someone perform these ASMR triggers. When you get out of that bath, you will feel like you have never felt before. See, the Epsom salt detoxes the cells for the first 20 minutes and then supplements your cells with magnesium for the last 20 minutes, relaxing every muscle in your body, including your heart. Sound is a very important part of our lives. Without sound, you can't have light. Biblically, sound came before light because it was the word spoken from God that gave birth to it. And without light, there is no us. There is nothing but darkness. And I guess this is why some people associate light with love.